there must have been such excitement and a great sense of anticipation in the atmosphere as it was proclaimed that a savior is born, a savior that would be the redeemer of mankind, that would heal the wounded, a savior whose name could fit every situation possible, consular, friend, rock, healer, Abba, Father, and the Great I Am, King of Kings and Lord of All. This Savior, who will never leave nor forsake one, who brought so much relief and joy to those who witnessed his birth and to those who proclaimed from the mountaintop, from the hills and the plains, that Christ was born. Emmanuel, God is with us. Journey with us as the Church of God of Prophecy Zone 1 District unfolds in song, spoken word, and music stories about this gift that was born of a Virgin Mary and one who will return to claim those who have worshipped and served this wonderful consular in spirit and in truth. Under the leadership of Bishop Dr. Woodley Thompson, we present Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. A miracle was about to unfold where stories would be told. Your miracle was about to of a savior who came to the earth only from a miraculous birth. He was heralded to be a king. Oh, how amazing! Oh, c'était étonnement. What a wonderful thing his description is to many to tell. Oh, c'était un bel bagaille. Description t'es trop pour dire. Consular. Conseiller. Prince of Peace is he. Chef la paix qu'il y est. Savior and Emmanuel. Sauveur et c'est Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Bon Dieu avec nous. Take a journey with us as we unfold the scriptures where the account was told. Faites un petit voyage avec nous. Côté nous pour aller dire côté histoire ça t'est sorti. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on the rise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. He is Jesus, Emmanuel, wonderful counselor, is he. God with us for all eternity. Special greetings to you, my wonderful people of God, during this, the Christmas season. This is a holy season, a time when we commemorate and celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 1 and the 23rd verse says, 
Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. How reassuring, how comforting to know that in these times of uncertainty and perplexity that God is with us, that his name is Emmanuel. If you are in Europe, the United States, or even in the Bahamas, you have that assurance that Emmanuel is with you. Indeed, the scriptures reassure us that he will never leave us nor forsake us. He will be with us in all seasons, on all occasions, even until the end of the world. The ancient hymn writer penned the words, O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel has come to thee. And so it is my happy privilege to extend to you during this festive season the blessings of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And may that very blessings be with you and your family, not only this day, but throughout the coming year. God bless you and enjoy the holiday and remember that the Lord is with you. Amen. Christmas has its sentimental attachments. Things like Johnny Cake and Fruit Cake, Benny Cake. Things like ham and turkey with cranberry sauce. And we have Christmas services in John Canoe. There are carols that we like to sing. And there are just this time of experiencing wonderful feelings, like the smell of pine, the smell of a Christmas tree or a candle burning. And there are these sentimental attachments that take us into this place and this time that we call Christmas. The reality of Christmas, though, has nothing to do with pine, penny cake, fruit cake. It has to do with the fact that Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, the only begotten of the Father, came through the loins of a virgin, her name was Mary, and he came to restore us back to the Father, to redeem mankind from sin. In the book of Matthew, the first chapter, verse 21, it simply says, and she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sin. Christmas is about Jesus the Christ coming so we can experience him, his saving power, his restoring power, his redeeming power, his reconciling power, and his reviving power. Santa and Rudolph have nothing to do with redemption. The smell of pine and the taste of Benny has nothing to do with the fact that this is the actual time that we've come to celebrate this Christ, this, this Jesus. In verse 23 of that same uh, passage, it says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Interpreted, God is with us. And so, we celebrate Christmas because God is with us. Jesus came so we can celebrate and walk in this reality that Emmanuel has come. God is with us. A glorious feeling and experience is about Christmas, experiencing the fact that God is with us. With us is joy, and with us is peace, and with us is healing and wholeness, and with us is forgiveness and reconciliation. The angelic host said to the shepherds, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and goodwill towards men. Christmas is about giving glory to God and walking in his peace and goodwill that comes through Jesus the Christ. And so the best experience that we can have during this time is to experience this Jesus the Christ. I appreciate the penny. I'm going to have some. 
I appreciate the ham and the turkey, but nothing like experiencing the fact and the reason why we are celebrating Christmas. We are celebrating Christmas because Emmanuel, God is with us. During the pandemic, God is with us. Without presence, God is with us. Your family going through a challenge right now, I say to you, Emmanuel, God is with us. You may even not be able to buy any gifts this season, but trust me, you can still experience Christmas for the simple reason God is with us. And so, have yourself a God-filled, Christ-filled Christmas because Emmanuel has come. God is with us. Father, we have come tonight to exalt your holy and wonderful name. We realize tonight that there is none in heaven or in earth that compares to you. As we are worshiping under the theme tonight, Emmanuel, God with us, we welcome you into this house tonight and we ask you to have full control. Those of you who may be watching, whether you are in your living room, whether you are in your car, whether you may be in your office behind your desk, we encourage you tonight to let the presence of the Lord just fill your atmosphere. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So tonight, we have come to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Praise team, are you with me tonight? Did you come to worship the name of the Lord tonight? Because he is the great I am. Help me, team. tonight.
somebody just give the Lord one more shout of praise in this house tonight. Come on, exalt the name of the Lord. Lift his name high above the earth. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. Even in the midst of a pandemic, he is worthy to be praised. His blood reaches to the highest mountain and flows to the lowest valley. Hallelujah. He is, he is the great I am. Hallelujah, Jesus. Greetings to each and every one of you. From the beginning of time, the creation of mankind, God always wanted to be with his people. He communicated with Adam in the cool of the day. After he delivered the Israelites from Egyptian bondage, he told Moses to build me a tabernacle that I may dwell with my people. No human being in the Old Testament was able to truthfully declare that he was Emmanuel. The New Testament begins in Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Then Matthew proceeds to list the lineage of Jesus Christ and show that he's firmly etched in history. He has a family lineage. Progressing further, he explains the circumstances of Jesus' birth, which was that he was born of the Virgin Mary. In explaining, Matthew states in Matthew chapter 1, verses 22 to 23, Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord of the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. This scripture is explicit that Jesus was fully man, while at the same time, fully God. As man, Jesus understands and experiences everything that we face. While he was man on earth, he overcame every challenge, every fear, all ridicule, every disappointment, every temptation to sin, and suffered the death on the cross. As a result, he empathizes with us in all of our struggles and gives us hope that we can overcome even as he overcame. Whatever you face, whether economic hardships, natural disasters, sickness, COVID-19, Jesus empathizes with you. Jesus was not only fully man, but he was fully God. Jesus was the God man. Verse 23 says that he is called Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. As God, he demonstrated his power over nature, forgave sins, healed the sick, raised the dead, and ascended to heaven from whence he came. Jesus is not physically on earth today. However, he is still with us through the presence of his Holy Spirit. Even as the people in biblical times experienced the power of God through Jesus' ministry, he can, we can experience his ministry as well through the presence of the Holy Spirit. Even as Jesus is firmly etched in history, I pray that he would firmly be etched in your life, not only as an ideal or as an abstract philosophy, but that he would be real in your everyday life. I pray that he would transcend your homes, businesses, schools, workplaces, and be the foundation upon which your life is built. I pray that he would saturate your thoughts such that rather than thinking about the gifts, Christmas tree, Santa Claus, or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, your mind would be inundated with his love and the price he paid to establish a genuine relationship with you. I wish all of you a Christ-centered Christmas and may Emmanuel be real to you so that you would pass down to proceeding generation a genealogy of those who are totally committed to Christ. Our 2020 vision must be Emmanuel. Emmanuel is more than a name. It is a declaration of heaven meeting earth. God with us in despair, struggle, and brokenness. At Christmas, God came to redeem people in need of a savior and light the darkness with his love. Yes, Jesus is the reason for the season. 
let our 2020 vision, that is, our spiritual sight, be focused on him, as did the wise men who focused and followed the star. And then our future would be glorious. Have a very Merry Christmas. In Jesus' name, Emmanuel with us.
Can you imagine the calmness of the evening on such a silent night, a holy night, where the angels heralded his birth? Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Perhaps there were songs like glory, glory, Lord, or we will glorify the King of Kings, of which you just heard. And words of comfort. I am sure you enjoyed the words of comfort from our senior pastors, namely Pastor Charles Finley, Bishop-elect Dwight Ferguson, Bishop-elect Maury Sims, and Minister Ruth Lee Saunders. These words of hope for our world and adoration about our Emmanuel was displayed with such excellence. We continue on the second part of our journey where we will hear songs such as Emmanuel from our spirited praise team and a continuous words of comfort from senior pastors Bishop Jeffrey Knowles, Bishop-elect Cheval Gray, and Pastor Dale Moss. Season greetings to one and all, indeed the people of our Bahama land. As the shepherds were watching their flock by night, the angel of the Lord appeared unto them, proclaiming, Fear not, for I will behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. 2020 has been a year of drastic changes in our churches, in the workplace, in our homes, and indeed worldwide. But God has brought us through. God was with us, he is with us, and he will see us through. Why? Because our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. This Utah season is traditionally one of giving, but let us be reminded as we celebrate this Christmas season in the midst of a global pandemic, we can do it with joy. Never mind our economic circumstances, let us focus on celebrating the birth of Christ. Let us remember the Christmas carol, Joy to the World, the Lord is Come. I entreat with you, as you go through this season, celebrate with joy, sing with joy, for the joy of the Lord is indeed our strength. Share the good news of the gospel, Jesus, the Savior of the world. It is more blessed to give than to receive. And let me remind you that the greatest gift you can share with others this season is Jesus. Let's keep our hearts filled and let's, let's keep our heads lifted high with joy. I pause to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yes, COVID-19 is with us. But greater than covered is here. Emmanuel, God is indeed with us. A very Merry Christmas to all. Tis the season to be jolly. It's the Utah season. As we approach the cool Christmas season, planning Christmas gathering, keeping our social distancing, of course, cooking and smelling the aroma and fragrances of turkey, ham, macaroni and cheese, peas and rice, that gets our stomachs rumbling and our enzyme on our tongues starts. Let's not forget the true meaning of the season. Emmanuel, God with us. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, 
which had been interpreted God with us. This Yuletide season, we give God praise for his unfinished love. COVID-19, Dorian, and the misfortunes in life, we've had many things to remind us that Emmanuel has never left us. Let's be encouraged that he is our savior, our provider, our way maker. He is a promise keeper. She brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. He will never leave you, neither will he forsake you. So trust Emmanuel, trust Mary's baby, trust the only wise God. I've seen many things in my lifetime. I've seen the lightning flashing. I've heard the thunder roll. I felt sin breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. But there's a peace in knowing that Emmanuel stands between. He promised never to leave us, nor will forsake us. Gee wee, it's Christmas. I'd like to wish you and your families a blessed Christmas. And remember, Emmanuel, the Creator, Emmanuel, the Great Savior, Emmanuel, our way maker is with you. Feliz Navidad, Prosperio Año y Felicidad. God bless you. Good morning. Isn't it amazing that we have arrived at the end of this year, 2020, and it feels like we just yesterday celebrated Christmas. Time passes so quickly. This year of 2020 opened with a flurry of natural disasters from deadly bushfires in Australia to more fires in the west coast of the United States of America, destroying homes and lives as it marched up the coast. Devastating flash floods in Indonesia, volcanic eruptions in the Philippines, earthquakes in China, India, Iran, Russia, Turkey. Remember the earthquake in the Caribbean? Amazingly, we felt the same shaking right here in Bay Street, Nassau. Then there was swarms of locusts according to the news release in Asia and East Africa, India and the Middle East. Cyclone Amphan, classified as one of the most deadly tropical cyclones to ever impact Bangladesh and India. Then, as if we needed more, we were struck by the coronavirus, a global pandemic, first hitting China, then the rest of the world, and still continues to devastate us right up to this very day. Not to mention all this on the heels of Hurricane Dorian, perhaps the worst natural disaster ever to come ashore of these archipelagic islands of the Bahamas, devastating the northern islands of Abaco and Grand Bahama to the extent of fatalities taking scores of lives. Followed up this year with a record-breaking hurricane season of 30 named storms, more named storms than any other year in known history. Wow, we hardly caught our breath this year. In fact, for many, COVID-19 is an overshadowing cloud that is changing our whole world, taking family members, destabilizing long-time job security, and in fact, the very fabric of our human existence is being shaken to the core. Today, I've come with a word of encouragement to speak into your spirit. While we are experiencing all that is dealt to us, we have a sure foundation in God. The word declares in Isaiah chapter nine and six, for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, 
and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Dear friends, in spite of all that has impacted us this year, we have a confidence that unto us a child is born and his name is Jesus the Christ. In the midst of your life circumstances, Know that Christ has come to you with comfort, with hope, with healing, with deliverance, with power. For he is the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Whatever trouble you are going through in this Christmas season, be it finance, you may not be able to afford the gifts of Christmas. You may not be able to have the relationship with your family that you are used to having due to the fact that COVID uh, protocols are in place. And perhaps you have a hard time forgiving somebody for hurting you. You may even be in a health concern today and are worrying deep down inside. Perhaps you may feel depressed this time of year, every year, maybe you've lost a loved one. Our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, has come with good tidings of great joy. Jesus loves you, my brothers and sisters, and he's waiting to bless you with the peace that passeth all understanding. St. Luke said it this way, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Christmas is not material possessions, things, and stuff. The real joy of Christmas is knowing Jesus personally inside. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. God bless you. Enjoy your Christmas this year. Accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior.
We are so glad to have such a wonderful gift that came from heaven above and was born of the Virgin Mary. This gift came to bring life, hope, and joy. As we close out this celebration segment of celebrating the real reason of the season, Emmanuel, God with us, let us remember, as God has showered us with the love so are we to do to our brothers and sisters. At this time, our district overseer for Zone 1 Bishop, Dr. Woodley Thompson, would love to shower some of our generation with a special gift and leave us with remarks of hope and love. Then we will send you off with a musical item where you can express your joy by moving your feet and clapping your hands to the beat and giving praise to the great I am, Emmanuel, God with us. During this season of Christmas, we in the New Providence District Zone 1 have been aware of the educational plight of many of our students here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And so we decided as a group of eight congregations to touch one student in each of our particular locations with a tablet to assist them in their virtual learning education platform. And so today we're happy to do this and our pastors join with us in celebrating and assisting our young people to improve and better themselves through virtual learning. God bless you. Her husband Joseph was faithful to the law, but he did not want to put her name in public shame, so he planned to divorce her quietly. But as Joseph was thinking about this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. The baby inside of her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. And so as we consider and ponder this theme of Emmanuel, God with us, we understand that Emmanuel is more than just a name. Indeed, the glory of heaven came to meet the wantonness of earth. Christ came to bring us life, to bring us hope. And because of that hope, we can look forward to a bright future. Yes, we've experienced many challenges. Yes, we've been through many turbulent situations. We've come through and are still going through a pandemic. Jobs have been lost. Situations have been turned upside down. Stresses are coming left and right. But if God be for us, who can be against us? And so this is the blessing and the joy of Christmas, knowing that we have God with us. And so that's why I want to encourage you to allow Christ to come into your life this Christmas. What better Christmas to have than to have the Emmanuel, God, with us so that you have the strength, you have the ability, the opportunity to move forward in your life, even though there will be challenges, even though there will be difficult situations. Because God is with you, you can make it. 
Because God is with you, you will make it. And because God is with you, your prayers will be answered. Your dreams will come to fruition. I guarantee you that if God is with you, all will be well. There's a portion of scripture that I came across that I think is so fitting, and it comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 124, and I'll just read it into your hearing. If the Lord had not been on our side when people attacked us, they would have swallowed us alive. When their anger flared against us, the flood would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept over us. The raging waters would have swept us away. But because God is on your side, there's no need to worry, no need to fret about what situations are waiting for us around the corner or on tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. God holds tomorrow in his hands. And if we are in God, we can be comforted to know that we have a hope that God will make everything just all right. Be encouraged, my friend. Be encouraged, my brother. Be encouraged, my sister. No matter the level of problems or difficult situations you are facing, this Christmas, know that Emmanuel, God is with us. God is with you. You can make it, you will make it, and you will come through victorious in the name of Jesus the Christ, whom we celebrate the reason for Christmas, Emmanuel, God with us. Amen. So may God bless you and give you an enjoyable holiday season. And I pray the richest blessings upon you for the new coming year, 2021. And so from our family to your family, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous and blessed New Year. God, you are always with us and we magnify your name, God. We lift up your name. We thank you because you are always with us. What a good God. What an awesome God. What a sovereign God. Amen.
stay right here with us. So stay.